CDC released a long letter, I think back in January, where they basically outlined a whole list of concerns they have about Bitcoin and Bitcoin ETF. Some of it was pricing, some of it was custody that you addressed, but they had a lot of questions that they basically said, you're going to have to answer all of these questions before we approve any Bitcoin ETFs. Do you feel your new application has gone a, a, a further than anybody else's to address the SEC's concerns? I'm just wondering whether you have increased your chances by responding to their letter. Uh, we hope so. We hope so. And it is a dialogue. And this is what's different about Bitcoin than other ETFs that you can launch because the market is changing so much, the market infrastructure. And I call this year the year of regulation. And the SEC is, I think, wa walking quietly to get what a year ago was literally 100 percent an unregulated market. I mean, Coinbase, everything about it was completely unregulated. And now they're bringing the broker dealers under regulatory supervision. They're bringing fund issuers. They're bringing pricing availability. Everything is slowly, without kind of trashing the whole party, they're bringing everything. So by the end of the year, you're going to see a pretty regulatorily engaged market. It's rather remarkable because the Chairman Clayton made it clear that they're essentially helping to create an entire superstructure around that never really existed before. So if you have an exchange that wants to register with the SEC to trade uh, cryptocurrencies, uh, how do you regulate the pricing, for example? We have an NBBO in the, in the securities market. That doesn't exist there. So, uh, custody issues, they're essentially going to be involved in creating the superstructure. Chairman Clayton seemed to imply that they're not opposed to setting this up, but they're not changing the securities laws to accommodate or make it any easier for people to provide financial information. Fair enough, but I mean, look, there are other markets, gold and bond, most of the bond market trades over the counter. So I don't think we have to wait for the day that Bitcoin trades here at the NYSE either. So, you know, that's kind of like, 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 let's be reasonable in terms of our expectations and not apply a higher standard to Bitcoin than exists for other assets. Finally, uh, you mentioned U.S. regulation. Flat so it's really good. And like I said, this is going to take time. And that's why. Um, I do believe if you're investing in this market short term, it's unstable, it's volatile, it's going to be uh, unpredictable. But the long term outlook and news like this makes it pretty clear that it that cryptocurrencies will be properly regulated and that institutional money that has been sitting on the sideline and waiting to come into this asset class will eventually come. And I do believe it should come by the end of the year. Um, if not by the end of the year, for sure, uh, early 2019. So once again, I think this is a great sign. And if you haven't had a chance to invest, I think uh, you should definitely check out Robinhood or Coinbase, uh, Gemini, any one of these exchanges. And like I said, maybe not make some large investments, but uh, own a little bit of cryptocurrency and uh, you know continue to educate yourself and you know, depending on the market, uh, if you watch this channel and you're subscribed to this channel, uh, diversify your assets and, um, you know, make moves accordingly. But uh, it's going to take time. I, I'm not surprised what they were mentioning and the, the, the challenges they have, but all of that will be addressed over time and that will allow cryptocurrencies to hopefully uh, revisit the all time highs of 850 billion market cap and hopefully in a couple of years, easily be worth a couple trillion. And uh, as you can see, we're still around a 300 billion market cap. So there's a lot of promise and a lot of uh, future growth and development. Um, but let me know your thoughts of what you guys think about this. And I will talk to you guys soon.